welcome back to my channel. My name is Gartan. Today is the day the iPhone SE is available on the Apple.com website. Now, if you pre order it last week, store on April 17th, that's great. But whoever didn't do that, you get to order it today, starting $399. That is amazing. Wow. I am going to give you guys a quick rundown of everything you need to know about the iPhone SE. Now, it comes in three colors white, black, product red. Every iPhone SE that you purchase in product red, it will go towards the COVID-19. So that's such an, a great opportunity to make a difference in the world. This could be the phone for a lot of people, especially the ones that's been holding back on upgrading. Let's be real. The iPhone 11 is extremely expensive. It's over a thousand dollars. And not a lot of people have the luxury of buying a thousand dollar phone. Now to have a phone like this, to have the internals of the iPhone 11 Pro and the body of the iPhone 8, that is amazing for $399 starting. Um, I mean, I would jump on that. One of the great things that Apple did with the iPhone SE is that they left the price the way it was when it first came out in 2016, the starting price of $399 and it's still the same price to this day. Now, it comes in three um, storage spaces, 64 gigabyte, 128 gigabyte and 256 gigabyte. The base storage for the iPhone SE is 64 gigabyte. Now, I mean, that's not the best, but it's also not horrible. If you want to get more gigabyte, you can get 128 gigabyte for $50 more, which will come up to be $449. Now, if you want the 256, it will be an additional $100 from the 64, which is $549. I actually recommend you get an a bigger storage space because 64 is really not a lot and it will fill up trust me when I tell you that I had to regret it when I got the iPhone 11 Pro Max last year in November 2019 um, when I went to Italy and um, I regret that because I didn't <laughs> I couldn't take enough pictures enough videos it filled up really quickly 4k footage fill up your iPhone quickly and it's not a joke so be smart, don't be cheap, it's additional $50. Some of you guys may be wondering, what does the SE stand for in the iPhone SE? Well, according to Phil, at Apple's head of marketing, he stated that the SE stands for Special Edition, which makes sense is because it comes every four years, so it's sort of kind of like a Special Edition. iPhone SE does support wireless charging. There's also support for fast charging, but in classic Apple fashion, you have to buy that separately. It also has support for its eSIM and dual SIM, and it is Wi Fi 6 compatible. Just like the iPhone 8, it packs a 4.7 display. You're not getting the Face ID, um, so your only option is the second generation Touch ID with fingerprint. Honestly, that's such a good thing because you really don't need Face ID during this COVID 19. Um, where wearing face mask, it does not work, the face ID, so you actually, you're okay to not have the face ID. Um, it's honestly, it's, you still have a fingerprint, so that's fine also. Are those trades off worth the price difference? Again, the iPhone SE is cheaper than the iPhone 11 by $300. For the 11 Pro, is $600 cheaper. And for the 11 Pro Max, is about $700 cheaper. So if you're trying to get the SE, remember the difference in the price from the 11, the 11 Pro, and the 11 Pro Max. iPhone SE, the Apple logo is now centered on the back. It does have haptic touch. It only has one camera on the back. Um, it You can still use um, portrait mode. However, it does not have pet portrait. It's only for human. So that's another um, thing that you're going to be losing on the iPhone SE is that you can only use a portrait mode for only humans and no pets. So this is for the pet lovers. I'm sorry about that. The difference between the iPhone SE and the iPhone 11 Pro and Pro Max is that it does not come ultra wide angle lens, but single wide angle. And you're losing night mode. So you're losing three things. You're losing is face ID. Um, you're only getting single wide angle and you're not getting night mode. That camera on the iPhone SE is a megapixel camera and this will shoot 4K and 24, 30 and 60 frames 
a second. It is water and dust resistant. It has a rating of IP67, which means you can have it underwater up to one meter for up to 30 minutes. But please don't test it out. Love to know what you guys think of the iPhone SE. Are you going to buy it? Is that something you've been holding back on now that there is a SE? Now you can actually purchase it? Is it a great price? Do you think that they did a better job compared to the one in 2016? I mean, I know that some of you guys probably still have a 2016, so let me know. Can you compare the 2016 to the 2020? How is that?